what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so in this video i'm going to share my thoughts on what sarah michelle geller stated regarding her returning to the role of buffy summers in this supposed upcoming buffy reboot sequel con continuations another spinoff we don't know what it is exactly it was never made clear it had been announced back in 2018 but essentially just to start with what sarah michelle geller said she already stated that she feels she's too old for this role which is basically something she stated multiple times in the past as it is so what she basically said during a recent interview with mario lopez she reminded us what worked for buffy it was that buffy was that the monsters represented what the monsters represented they were a metaphor for the horrors of adolescence and she honestly feels that she doesn't think that's a good role for her anymore she doesn't think she should be the one doing it she says she's way too tired and cranky to put in that work again now she also added that she loves the fact that the show still holds up and people are calling for this reboot now just to comment on what she said there because that's the meat and potatoes of this video we do not need sarah michelle geller to re to reprise the role of buffy summers and be the head honcho of this supposed upcoming show once again we do not need that we do not need to use her as a crutch or that character as a crutch to revisit this universe what we can do is make mentions of this of the legacy of buffy summers because i would hope that buffy summers because what I'm, I'm just speaking in the perspective of us getting a sequel show a con a, a, a continuation series that picks up many years after the events of what happened in chosen at the battle of the hellmouth after willow activated all the potential slayers and turned them into slayers we do not need to have a show where sarah michelle geller is still playing the role of buffy and now we're picking it up and this is like season 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Many things that we all probably hoped for nearly 20 years ago when the show first went off the air. We don't need to have something like that. It's not going to be something that I think would be fulfilling enough for people who want to go back to this universe and see fresh stories told. Uh, and they're talking about doing black representation in it, having this new Slayer be of African-American descent which i think is a very good callback to the fact to remind us that the first slayer was a black woman which should always mean something to people who are looking for representation when it comes to things like this and knowing what the slayer stood for so i think that would be great also now that i think about that it'd be a very clever idea to maybe have this new african-american slayer be of descent from the first slayer who i believe her name was Senea correct me if i'm wrong i think that would be a clever idea to throw us back in the same universe and we're with one of the descendants of the first slayer who is now then who is now one of the people who got selected to be a slayer after the events at the battle of the hellmouth and i think it would be a very nice a very nice story to have told where this person has a history with buffy we're not going to necessarily see this but this could be someone who got activated. Buffy encountered them over the several years after what happened at the Hellmouth when she, Spike, and the Scoobies and the Potentials closed it, fought off the Turrican army, and stopped the first evil. This could be one of the Slayers they picked up on over the years, learned that she was a descendant of Senea, and this character decided to break off from them at some point just to live out her own legacy, live out her own life, and break away from them. Nothing personal. She just wanted to break off, branch out, and be a loner and honor what the slayerhood originally stood for which was solitude and she's she wants to be very throw throwback throwback to it because we know buffy was one of the first characters or one of the first slayers that seems like broke off a lot of traditions that the slayer had she had friends helping her etc etc so i think sarah michelle geller's words that's her opinion and she's not wrong we don't but i think she's talking about it from the perspective that they would even try to do that because they could but i don't think that's what was originally going to happen the whole thing here was going to be we were going to have a new slayer a new story monica breen was supposed to be the showrunner apparently and they weren't going to touch xander willow anya any of those characters again joss whedon's show was not going to be harmed or expanded upon in any way relating to those characters at least that's what i took away from what monica breen shared on her twitter so the way she could be involved is because like I said, we don't need to use that character as a crush. This should be a show that's set in the same universe with this African-American slayer who is, again, of course, female. And she was one of the slayers activated at the Battle of the Hellmouth somewhere else in the world. She's a descendant of Senea. 
which I think would be a nice twist, uh, which would get people interested right off the bat. And we just live out her life, see her struggles, see her grow as a character, see what she has to offer from her perspective, different culture entirely, different culture, everything. The way they could use Buffy, bring her in for cameos. Maybe she is needed at some point during a certain battle in one of the seasons. Maybe bring in other characters, Willow, Xander, Giles, everybody, Faith. They all can return, but they don't need to be the focal point of this show. That's not what needs to happen at all. This should be something that is fresh, just set in the same universe, but it honors what came before it. It honors the legacy of Buffy Summers. There could be a few, maybe multiple mentions of Buffy and the impact she's had over the years since what happened at Sunnydale when the town was destroyed and everything and all the Slayers were activated. So, because we know she set up those little divisions around the world. We saw this in Angel Season 5. Those are just my thoughts on what she had to say and what I think this has to do with what we could get, hopefully, in the future. But let me know what you guys think about this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe, turn on post notifications, and miss a video. In the description, I have links to my social media accounts, my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there to let me know if there's any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. With all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.